Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot messages for August 23rd to the 29th of August 2021, obviously, Capricorn. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how. Uh, also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn, because it does help me out a lot, and I always appreciate it when you do that, actually step for me but put this in perspective darling i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you i'm just here to give you some food for thought today uh, for today perspective for you to be considering but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live capricorn not mine and not these tarot cards so all that being said let's just jump into your tarot reading for today capricorn let's see what's going on for you right how are you currently feeling right now i'm gonna be pulling three cards we have the page of swords with the ace of swords i almost said ace of wands sword sword swords honey are we gonna get three swords or are we gonna get a major arcana neither knight of cups <laughs> so good cards really good cards starting this out strong uh capricorn i feel like you guys have your eye on something you have your eye or it's like the idea of um pursuing an opportunity or pursuing a person. I feel like um, it's like rambling in your head right now. I hear the gears turning, darling, with this page of swords. You're just like, mm. and you know, maybe for some of you guys, you're kind of just like waiting this out, seeing if anything more comes to light before you go diving in head first with something. But um, you guys are definitely being observant. Ace of swords coming in here. This is letting me know that your mind is racing currently. This is ever changing and being like, oh, is this person like the one? Is this job the one right i just feel and i keep noticing notice i'm putting all like a positive emphasis on this because i do feel like this is a positive spread right off the bat here because with this knight of cups here this is nothing but i mean obviously you look at the person it's nothing but roses darling right and so i see this as a situation capricorn where you're in this place and you're just like all right I think I like this a lot, but what, let me wait this out a little bit longer. Let me see how this pans out. But this looks like currently a really positive, a really strong opportunity for uh, you, Capricorn, to be going into. So let's get some clarifiers on this. We have the Justice card. Girl, all the Earth signs got the Justice card. <laughs> we have uh, the Six of Pentacles. Balance, balance, balance. Okay. So... This is definitely someone I feel like, someone or something that feels definitely very grounded. I feel like this would be something that brings a lot of stability into your life, Capricorn. Um, this is also kind of like a nice change of pace for you, I feel, as well. Because in this emphasis, this is like a message of where it's like you finally getting Capricorn what it is that you deserve, right? Or you finally, it just feels as if like, I know this is kind of goes into like a negative narrative uh, Capricorn, but I just get like this impression of where it's like you had like a streak of bad luck of where it's just like you seemingly always ended up with the short end of the stick. And maybe that's even why I'm seeing you in this place of being a little bit more, um, standoffish currently and just uh having high hopes for this but you're still being a little bit standoffish just because of how like unhinged things have been for pentacles coming in here so yeah very much so sitting duck energy but i feel like in the like by the end of this capricorn you're going to be um realizing that it's worth you investing your pentacles into this your four pentacles or meaning your energy into this right so you're holding you're holding your energy closely you're holding your purse closely darling because you don't want to just give it away. You don't want to just give it away to this Knight of Cups um, because it is right under the Knight of Cups. You don't want to give it away fully and leave yourself exposed, showing all your cards to the situation yet until it proves itself to you. So I like this a lot for you, Capricorn, so far. How does this progress, though, for you? How does this end for my beautiful Capricorns? How does this end? Let's see. Three of Swords. <laughs> Oh, High Priestess, 
with the Nine of Wands. Oh girl, oh baby, oh Capricorn, this is looking so good. But this is showing, showcasing why it is you are a little bit standoffish with this because your intuition was right on this at all. You already had an idea. High Priestess card coming in, you already have, like, you already have the situation figured out, Capricorn. You have the situation figured out and you also have this person figured out. Whatever the case may be, you already know what's up. You already know how this story ends, Capricorn, right? Fierce Swords, Nine of Wands. I feel like if you, like, this is giving me an energy of disappointment. This is an energy of being like, well, see, I'm, like, time to go back to the uh, races almost, right? So I do feel like uh, what are you like? You're correct or you're right into being a little bit standoffish with this, right? But I still feel like this has something to uh, show you. I still feel like this is presented to you to trigger something in you, Capricorn. To whether this is like uh, developing a uh, new interest with this, uh, with this thing. Maybe not doing the same exact field, but or the. You get the point, right? Maybe it's like in that umbrella, but not doing the one specific thing that you are being like, oh, let me do this, right? I feel like this opportunity, even though it doesn't seem like it's all that rewarding for you and kind of just disappoints you and you're right about it, I feel like it teaches you something, right? As the wounded warrior, like there's something that you gained from this, so all wasn't for nothing, essentially, right? So uh, yeah, what advice can we get in regards to this uh, for you, Capricorn? strength card with the empress card so both libra cards just like capricorn honey or just like capricorn just like virgo honey you are capricorn uh that we got here empress card and the strength card so as weird as this might sound uh capricorn and obviously this is probably not going to resonate with like most people in fact i'm probably getting some comments right now from some capricorns where they're just like girl what you talking about honey right um <laughs> telling me to screw off capricorn but i almost feel as if even though the situation is going to disappoint there's still something for you to learn from here the strength card i say is my card of shadow work um where it hurts but at the same time it builds character honey right and in the name of building character that's kind of what the empress also in, in, uh, embodies in the sense of where she's very she's listening to the universe doesn't take things personal at all because she realizes this is all just to help grow give birth to whatever it is that she's trying to give birth to right obviously gender doesn't matter right she doesn't stress out about the unknown right which is why the moon is in the corner here not really being all that present because and she's not even looking at it darling because she's just like girl i don't need to see you um i already know i'm taking care of honey right you're not stressing about the unknown and so capricorn i do feel like as odd as a message as weird as a message as this might be even though that i see this disappointing you on some level i almost feel like you should be engaging with this um because i feel like this might actually reveal something to you that inspires you and just changes the trajectory of your life pretty dramatically right now obviously this doesn't mean capricorn <laughs> to just like be irrational about things right don't put yourself in dangerous situations obviously darling but if this is like a job that you might end up losing or like this is like a, a relationship that doesn't last forever like honey even in this reading right now we probably have experienced like 5,000 relationships breaking up uh while you've been watching this video right relationship all relationships aren't meant to be um everlasting but if you go into this with the approach of realizing that you're here to be taught something it's not going to be as painful for you and you're going to realize that you're just right all along about it so take that as you will capricorn i know most people probably are not going to resonate with it and be like girl that makes no sense i'm not going to be going in i'm not going to willingly go into pain and disappointment you saw those cards honey you saw my reaction when i pulled that three of swords that was going to come out for you i was like oh Baby, that was a plot twist that I did not anticipate for you, Capricorn. But uh, you guys are going to be good. So, what good things are in the works for you, though, Capricorn? Let's see what good things are in the works for you. Ten of Cups, come on now. <sighs> Two of Pentacles. And the Lover's card. So, the good things are in the works for you. I do feel as if, like, some of you guys are going to be manifesting a fling to be honest. Uh, for my single Capricorns, I really do feel like you guys are going to be manifesting a fling. It's, not, it's probably going to be super powerful and like super, like I feel like it's going to be really hot and then really cold, right? You know those relationships that just start out super passionate and then just at the flick of a blink of an eye, then it's the opposite. Uh, I feel that way for you guys. Um, in terms of uh, outside of people, Capricorn, Ten of Cups, and there's Two of Pentacles coming in here. I feel like you... 
again, weird. Y'all's reading is weird this week, Capricorn, but it's almost just like, I know like even me about to say this message, I'm just like, girl, um, but it's almost as if uh, you're about to be receiving a lot of uh, good in your life, a lot of different opportunities, Capricorn, that you're gonna have to like make a choice and figure out what it is you're gonna leave behind or like move on from or to release from yourself, right? Two of Pentacles, like think about it like this, right? When you're at a buffet, honey, and you only have one plate to fill, but there's like like dozens of dishes, courses for you to be trying, or dishes is the proper word, different foods, darling, uh, for you to be trying, Capricorn, that you want to try, you know, you kind of have to uh, make the choice to be like, all right, what am I going to prioritize this time that I'm at this buffet? You can't obviously, well, you can't, some, you can. Uh, <laughs> I have. Uh, you can, uh, you realize that you're not able to try out all the foods at once. And so you have to release them. Nothing wrong with the foods, but you have to kind of prioritize things, right? Set boundaries with things and just make a list and be like, all right, I want to put all my energy into this. You know, I can order pizza, right? You don't need to have this pizza at the buffet. You don't need to have that ice cream at the buffet. You can just go to the store and get some ice cream. But this over here, darling, you see those crab legs? I don't like crab legs. You see those mac and cheese, darling, right? You don't always have that. Feed us, sop up in that. That's the dynamic that I get with this. I know it's a weird message and hopefully my analogy doesn't confuse y'all Capricorn, but that's just what I get. All right, now be my beautiful Capricorn, let's get into your spirit guide messages, darling. Let's see what messages your spirit guides or your ancestors have today. Spirit guides and ancestors, rather. Let's see what messages they have for you today, Virgo. Let's shuffle. And then we're going to split it in the lower third, okay? Eight of Cups coming in. So yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are moving, like having to make the choice of walking away from something. With new opportunity, you have to walk away from other things. Two of Cups coming in. Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn. Overall, this is an extremely positive message, but this is going to be a situation where you're going to have to take a pretty big risk with something. Um, risk it for the biscuit, honey. Obviously, use your own discretion and don't put yourself in bad situations. But this Eight of Cups here, I feel like you guys have to kind of risk it for the biscuit, right? If you're in a relationship that isn't really very fulfilling or fruitful or in a job that doesn't really pay well that much, Capricorn, right? Walk away from it, right? Because when you walk away, while well, you can't see it right now, in this Eight of Cups, right? You can't see another water source. Ace of Pentacles, your cornucopia, is what lies um, beyond the horizon. Excuse me. For you. But you only discover that through taking a risk, Capricorn, right? So whether this is in terms of financial or money or anything, uh, y'all like that voice crack? Queen of Cup, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Judgment card coming in here. You guys are gonna have to make a pretty hard decision, right? Decisions keep coming up for you, or like the importance of like big decisions in your life, Capricorn. Um, that you're gonna have to probably ride solo for a little bit. Um, take some risky decisions, but as the Queen of Pentacles, you're at fully peace with the decisions that you make because you know you're going to be rewarded for it. So even though you make those hard decisions, as the Judgment, where you like your knees are shaking, honey, right? And you're just it's you're a nervous wreck it's gonna be so promising for you right you're going to find that cornucopia right you're 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 going to in the middle of the journey capricorn you're probably going to be like oh man like why did i do this i should have just stayed at home i shouldn't have um asked for more right but then by the end of the journey you're gonna be so glad that you did it and you're probably gonna even say it's like man i wish i did that sooner uh capricorn so interesting message for that. All right now Capricorn, let's see how people are perceiving you right now. Let's see how people feel about you currently uh, today Capricorn. So how this is going to work. This could be relationship, soulmate, twin flame, darling, work, friendship, darling, insert whatever description you need, darling, whatever labels you need. I'm going to be getting into what kind of person, what kind of vibe I get from them overall, and then we'll dive into uh, what their intentions are with you, Capricorn. So take the cards as they resonate. It may not resonate with all of you guys, right? And that's okay. This is just a general reading, right? It's up to you to figure out if these attributes sound like someone that's in your life. We have the Sun card coming in, starting out strong. Four of Cups. 
and the Fool card. That leap of faith I kept talking about. This is someone that I feel like was like a missed opportunity. I don't know if you, I feel like they weren't ready for like a good connection, a deep connection, uh, Capricorn, but you definitely felt some sparks whenever you first like saw them, whenever you first engaged with them, you felt some really strong sparks. You felt some really strong emotions into it. Um, and I feel like on their end, they must've just missed it, right? They must've missed it. They must've had some other distractions keeping them from acknowledging the rainbow darling right over here, right? The sun card and the fool card comes in of where it's like, I feel like I get very strong, like, traveling energy. Like, it gives me very much so, like, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be Sagittarius. But very much so, like, free-spirited. That's the word I want to use. Very free-spirited energy. Um, very bubbly, I would say. Very bubbly. But their heads are in the clouds, I would say. Right? I feel as if, like, they aren't very reliable people. But it's not off of being, like, shady or anything. It just feels like they get distracted easily. Uh, clumsy is another thing that I'm getting from this as well. But overall, it's like one of those people where you're just like, you see them, you're just like, oh, bless your heart. But you felt something with them. And I feel like they feel it as well on some level, but they were just distracted. So what, they're in, what are their intentions? The world card, major cards coming out, major arcanas. The world card, queen of wands. And then one more. Five of Cups coming in here. So yeah, quite literally, they were distracted beforehand, uh, Capricorn, with something, right? They definitely were dealing with like their own drama or stresses, right? As we all have in our work life, personal life. You know, we, you know I don't feel like getting into this because it's not my business. It's going to be different for everybody. And really, what does it matter, right? They just had other distractions, so they may have not noticed you the first time around. Or they didn't have the energy to be able to like fully em engage with this. But now they do. Now they want to. Now they want to nurture this now they want to go out and take a risk with this queen of wands and the fool card energy being in here that's powerful uh capricorn this is really someone that is a risk taker this is someone that i feel like would be coming to you with ideas coming to you with their emotions coming to you 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 um so whatever person that you feel really strongly about that you felt a connection but it just didn't happen for whatever the reasoning may be uh capricorn i feel like it's kind of it's going to be having a change of tides i really see this person whatever the reasoning is now that they no longer have any distractions they really want to commit to this because they see you for the long term as well and that's why they're taking that chance taking that risk as the queen of wands because they're like now wait a minute this person over here there's something about them right they may not be able to put a name to it put a label to it right now capricorn but they at the very least they know that they like you a lot and so i feel like i wouldn't be surprised if you expect a change of heart or a change of emotions and how someone is acting with you pretty soon Capricorn but darling that is the weekly reading that I have for you today uh for August 23rd to the 29th Capricorn hopefully you enjoyed this reading let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe also check out your monthly tarot reading Capricorn which I'll leave a link somewhere around here darling if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me Capricorn my website's linked down below simplyvelka.com next to my social medias TikTok Twitter Instagram all that just being simply Velka honey but uh yeah that's the reading that I have and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future Capricorn I love you so much. Bye.